All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True and for the today's day is Saturday, March the 11th, and as you can see over there, we got the new Elite Raid Boss right here after a number of us were having issues getting into the game and getting into the gym to do this. It's, it's been crazy, but there's actually three of us in here. We should be fine. Oh, they're gonna take us a good minute to get this done, but we should be able to take this thing down. So there's that. Everybody else is already on their way towards the next gym. So we trying to take this down as quickly as possible so we can catch up with everybody else. Now, my last video, I gave y'all a choice because next week or really this Saturday, it would be Slowpoke Community Day, but also want to have a lure party. And I gave you guys three options where to have the lure party at either at downtown Detroit at the Rensen, aka the GM building, at a new spot that I've never been to before at, Crent, what is it called, Canterbury Village, which also they having a Pokemon day that they had scheduled already in advance, or right here, which is where I'm at right now, which is the Civic Center in Dearborn. And the leading vote from Twitter, especially Twitter, from Twitter, from the Discord group, and from the Facebook group that is associated with the Discord group, basically this spot one so yeah this spot one okay we need to get a new squad in here but this spot one the vote so it's going to be here i will have all the details for you guys on the days leading up to the community day event regarding the lures and we're also going to walk around here so i could give you guys like a tour of how things you know probably should go and things of that nature so there's that now we're almost done with this thing i had to uh we heal my team bring him back in although i didn't fully heal him back up but nevertheless yeah so we're gonna take this thing down and give me a second eventually so we took it down just i thought so yeah apparently you need three people to take it down and the other two people they neither one was level 50 i was the only level 50 in here so we're gonna go ahead and try and capture this thing as quickly as possible and then we're gonna move on to the next spot, see if we can catch up with everybody else maybe later. And there's that, uh-huh. Get off of AR mode, and there it is, 1640. I have no idea what the hundo is, by the way. So let's go ahead and, okay, it's a bit further back than I thought. One, two, hey, first ball, that's what's up. All right, so we're gonna head up to the other spot and see if we could get one and a half good IVs. But first, there it is in the Pokedex right there. We got it in the Pokedex. So let's see what the IVs are looking like trash all right stay tuned so we did a second one and we didn't have enough time to do the third one because we having problems like doing the second one to the point where we got kicked out of the raid and we couldn't move like this was a terrible elite raid day this was terrible now as you can see over here there's this timer right here and it's just there and obviously the elite raids are done because it's 11 35 but that timer was there and i'm like why is that there so they have a lot of work to do with these elite raids. I don't think 30 minutes is the thing because somebody did make a good point where you have the entire time zone doing these within the span of 30 minutes, there was issues. Like people couldn't get into the gyms, people couldn't get into the game, it took them a while to get into the game, they had to switch Wi-Fi's and all that stuff. And then you had to spin a Pokestar first to get into the gym. So. A lot of issues that need to be worked out before next month's Elite Raids. And I'm not sure if, again, 30 minutes is the move because that was terrible. That was just flat out terrible. Now, granted, there's the 2 o'clock one and the 5 o'clock one. And I'm going to do those at different locations, which you will see. And the reason why I'm doing those two at a different location is because at that location, there's going to be a Golden Lord party there. And uh, I'm not sure y'all follow. Well, I didn't mention this, but I'm going to be playing basketball near that spot again today at 6. So it's like... I might as well just go down there. So there's that. Now, speaking of go to lower parties, so as I was saying earlier, I did a poll on Twitter on a Discord group and a Facebook group. And basically this spot, the Civic City here, Dibboard won. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we can just like start it at two o'clock and we can just walk around this area right here, this side of the Civic Center right here, you know, go through the the playgrounds the softball field the soccer field and all that jazz but what i would advise you not to do to be honest is to hit up that pokestop right there and that pokestop right there i feel like that's out of the way i'm not sure if the spawns are going to be really good for community day i mean they could get a bunch of spawns over there but 
I would not do that because again, it's out the way from all of these Pokestops that are right here. So there's that. Now, another thing I would not advise anybody to do, well, like we could hit up the, the police station because there's a good number of Pokestops right there. But beyond that, like the library, I wouldn't. That's too far of a walk. So yeah, I'm gonna try to walk throughout this community today with these golden lures. So that's basically the plan. Show up at two o'clock and then what you go do is just walk around this area right here, load up the Pokestops with your golden lures, not the regular ones, the golden ones, because the golden ones will get you the coins. And even though they last for 30 minutes, we still want the golden ones. And also, if possible, bring your Nintendo Switch. Why did I say that? Because if you time this right, so like, if you, like, let me let me backtrack real quick. Obviously, when you put your postcards into your Scarlet and Violet, you're gonna get the coin bag. Now, if you do this five times, not necessarily in a row, but just five times, you're gonna get the Golden Lord. So right now, I have one on me right now. And I'm gonna be honest, like I messed up yesterday, cause I couldn't connect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until probably next week. I'm going to save this one for next week, but I'm going to still try to get another streak, or not another streak, another five going. So then on that day, I'm going to use my first one, connect to my switch, and then hopefully get a second one and then use that one. So I should have two within that same day. That's what I'm hoping on doing, and I hope it works. Because remember, you can only get, you can only hold one golden lure. You can only hold one golden lure. You can't hold multiple, which sucks, but it is what it is. So... There you go with that. So now the next time you go see me, it's gonna be at Heritage Park in Taylor for another round of Elite Raids, the Golden Lord Party, and then of course the final round of the Elite Raids and I'm gonna go play basketball. So yeah, stay tuned. So we are now at Heritage Park here in Taylor, Michigan. So as you can see over there, there's like five Pokestops right here. All of them are lured up with golden lures. That's what I'm talking about. So before I get more into that, there's a few bit of business that we need to take care of. So first off, we got to make a new friend. I did add in my friend's wife's account and I'm waiting for him to accept it. So there's that. Now we're gonna go down here. We got the Festival Colors 2003 Collection Challenge. We completed today. Not great, I caught some of these Pokemon, I think like a day or two prior to today, but we completed it. So we're gonna claim that reward in a few seconds. I'm gonna put on a Lucky Egg and get both of these popping. Cause that's like 30,000 XP. And then hopefully the Lucky Egg can double it up to 60,000. I don't know if that would work or not. But over here, we got this, which granted, we are at the halfway point with the buddy, and we got about like, like another week. So really, come here today, we're gonna complete that. So there's that. Now there are other tasks that I could do, like the shadowy skirmishes. That's for a super rocket radar, we're gonna leave that alone. And a cosmic companion. I have not touched this in a good minute. So let's go ahead and claim this stuff, and let's see what we're gonna get from here. And we got a star use, 472 CP, and now, in regarding to the five Pokestop that were loaded, I spun them not that long ago. So we probably got like another three and a half minutes before they turn back to gold or something like that. Now, the rest of Heritage Park was lured up. Not all of it, but like some of it, they was kind of scattered. Some of it you had to walk to get to, but the majority of the ones I drove to. And I got about like over 300 gold gimme gold coins. So I'm close to 500 as we speak. Now there's two down there, but I'm not gonna go down there because there was three down there. But one of them disappeared. I'm assuming this one, right here is going to disappear soon. I wish you could see how much time is left on these lure Pokestops, so that would be helpful. And then the rest of the park, there's no golden lure in sight, nowhere else. So the party's here. Everybody's coming to this little spot right here. So that's where the party's at. But let's go back over here real quick. We gotta claim this right quick as well. So we got 1,000 dust, 4,000 XP, and an encounter with so rock okay 976 cp we're gonna go ahead and capture this real quick i'm gonna quick catch it got a great throw all right let's see what's next this fool will go say some other nonsense this is probably like an old special research tab most of you probably got this done already i've been slacking on it i'll be honest so let's see what we got to do next okay evolve three pokemon walk five kilometers and make 15 nice curveball throws okay all that should be no problem, even though I already starting to walk already. So that's a bit annoying. All right, so we're just gonna hang around here and wait for the, oh, look, they already started. There's a golden lure right here. So that's what this thing would look. There are also Pokemon spawning 
from these lures. And based on what I have seen so far, every single one, let's see how many coins I got, 20. That's what's up. Every single Pokemon spawning from these can potentially be shiny. Like, look, you got the golden lure on top of this Krabby. So every single one of these Pokemon spawning from the lures could potentially be shiny. But that's okay. Could potentially be shiny. Let me see about this Robert Fett. I think that's part of the event, though. So yeah, that didn't spawn from that. How about this? The Ringo. Nope, not that either. And the Krabby gone. So that's interesting. So yeah, they all starting to change color. So let me go ahead. We're going to spin these like so. Five coins. I got a lot of fives, which I don't want to see. That one gave me 20, so that's good. And then there's this one right here. We're well, actually, no, let's stay in order. That one's next, even though I'm not even close to that. So, whatever, we're gonna be out of order. So, boom, we got that one right there, and that gave me five as well. And then there's that one in the back that I'm gonna try to get to. So, yeah, stay tuned. So, as you can see down here, there's a bunch of ducks and geese and a dog. Now, if you look behind me, there's a bunch of people. Lots and lots of people. And me, right in the middle. So we got the last elite raid of the day. I skipped the two o'clock portion to take a nap because what happened earlier today kind of annoyed me a bit. We got a 420 in here, so hopefully everybody should be able to get in. Like, it, you only need like three people, maybe minimum, to take this thing down. I mean, I did it with two others earlier and again i was like the only level 50 in the raid so yeah here we go it's about to go down so there it is right there now regarding what's going to happen this saturday doing committee today obviously my own go to lower party which will be at the ship center dibble i'm gonna have more info on that you know in the upcoming videos i'm gonna have more of a in-depth video regarding information on what to do you know what to lure where to lure and all that jazz right there so you do not want to miss that video. I'm going to try to have that video probably on Friday. So we took this thing down. I already saw the IVs. Hey, I got hardest hitter. Nice. IVs are terrible. And we got it right here. 1648. Even though know, this is probably going to be my best one, to be honest. So hopefully I can do a trade and see if we can roll one of these. So let's see. One. Oh, no. First ball catch this time around. So there you go with that. It's now cold right now as i'm trying to capture this thing this thing just ate the premier ball as it moved and it's constantly moving i need to stop moving okay we got a great throw hopefully that's a great catch let's see it one two and no so another thing i want to talk about is there's a certain field research task out there where you got to capture five different types of pokemon so that one will give you an encounter with cast form regular rainy sunny and snowy and all four of them can be shiny and i'm gonna be honest with you unless you're really desperate to get one of those cast forms whether it don't matter which one it is unless you don't have any of those shiny and you're just trying to get one of those shiny that is a race of time because in my case i just need the snowy cast form kind of have that one shiny the other three i do have and that one is a race a time to try and find because again you got to find the right Pokestop that had the field research task. Then you gotta do it. Then you gotta hope that it's a snowy cast form, and then you gotta hope that it's shiny. It's just too much that have to go your way in order for it to be a shiny, snowy cast form, and it's a race of time. So I done some out here because I was driving around spinning Pokestops anyway, but nevertheless, yeah, it's a race of time. So I'm gonna call it a wrap. So with all that said, y'all know what this is. This is a boy, New J Gatsby, aka New Steve Nate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Do it. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint With my tongue, I done things that people said I can't Now they rank them with the elite But it's for the people and victory is part of defeat Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes And I'm dying to win, okay. I'ma hit and move away